first thing I have to show you guys is this bodysuit. It is in this vibrant pink color, which is really nice. The neck is not too high, which you guys know I really, really love. Um, I got it in an extra large and it was £3.50. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, £3.50. So I think this was definitely a good steal. As you can see, like they have, it has nice like thick straps on it. Um, it does button up obviously underneath. It's a very, very cheeky, so I won't be able to turn around. Um, but you can actually have it open, obviously, if you're wearing it, like got you've got jeans or whatever over it. You don't actually have to have it done. Super stretchy, guys. Super, super stretchy. That is like the size conversions. If like you are watching this from a different country <laughs> than the UK. So that's the size conversions. And I think this is a good, good fit, guys. I really like the colour. I did buy it... Um, for like layering obviously <laughs> because at this time of year you wouldn't be able to in the uk you wouldn't be able to wear like sort of a tank top style um uh bodysuit sorry i lost my train of thought there <laughs> bodysuit with without layering it so i did buy it for layering i'm gonna wear like i don't know a jumper over it or like just a normal t-shirt literally for layering and i find that when you wear like bodysuits and you layer them with something else during the winter they really really keep you warm because it allows no cold to get in anywhere like sort of on your torso area so i really really guys i got a bodysuit because when i was shopping i was just like oh there's so many nice bodysuits and i thought this would be a really nice one because i'm constantly like tucking my long sleeve tops into like my jeans my tracksuit bottoms my leggings and i just thought why not get a bodysuit in the same sort of thing um style long sleeve cami top because that's what i literally live in <laughs> in the in the winter and i saw this love this lovely sort of mauve color this one was five pounds so a little bit more than um the other bodysuit obviously this is a long sleeve um i got it in a large here are the size conversions if you are interested um in other countries yeah again you can do this up underneath it has like three poppers which is really cool or you can just have it open you do not need to tie it up um sorry button it up i think it's really really nice I did also get the same thing in this lovely sort of khaki um, off green sort of colour again in a size large and this was the same price as the other one five pounds really like these these have so much stretch in them guys so much stretch so I did get two khaki ones and two of the mold color just because i can feel already that i'm going to be wearing the heck out of these <laughs> and like i was i picked up like one of each initially and then i thought to myself no i know myself right now i don't really like to visit primark all the time just because there's always a long queue in there like things are just discombobulated well in my primark anyways um unless i go super early so i like to just go like once or twice a year usually like Twice to three times a year I will go, excluding the like sporadic times where, you know, I'm shopping and my friend will be like, oh, let's go to Primark. But when I go for like particular things, there's usually once in the summer and once in the winter. And usually they cover me for all of the other seasons. But I also, so I also got some plain leggings. That's it for basic, guys, this is like a really like an essentials haul <laughs> but um yeah so i got these plain black leggings although they're not so plain in the sense that, that they are like sort of lined in inside they have this sort of soft um cozy texture i did get mine in a size large and they were five pounds so these ones are a little bit more just because obviously they do have that cozy um thicker lining inside they are super stretchy as well i have bought these maybe about two winters ago and they didn't bring them out last year and i was just like where are they <laughs> and it was so weird actually tell a lie okay no that was the year before okay so the year before they i bought them in the winter and then i was trying to buy normal leggings in the summer and then these were still there they didn't have any normal ones so yeah, it was a bit of a catch-22. So I didn't buy leggings for like one year from Primark. And Primark 
have the best leggings i think when they're in stock anyways um like they're a true black they're stretchy um you can a lot of times size down i just love their leggings they're long enough they do um long length people what at all they do um shorter leggings for petite people i just really love primark leggings because one thing i hate is when leggings are like off black and um, primark leggings are always a good black like i've spent so much more money on leggings and they've been off black and not black black so really like these these have a nice like thick waistband i don't know if the camera is picking it up oh there you go nice thick waistband excuse my nails i'm doing them tomorrow um nice thick waistband i really really like these like i said i've got mine in a size large um if they were another company i think i would need to size up but they just stretch so much and even when you wash them they do stretch a little bit more um but they're just a good fit all around and they're a good length for me as well i do like my leggings a tiny bit short i don't like them like completely like over my ankle i like them just above my ankle so that if i wear trainers there's a little gap i like a little gap um and if i wear boots they're still fine as well so so i did also get some basic long sleeve um cami tops they have changed the material once again guys i went to primark and i was so annoyed when i saw the tops like the material is like so thin guys i'm just gonna show you <laughs> just gonna show you guys like so thin i don't know if you guys can see it's not the camera's not really picking it up too well obviously it's quite a dark color to show but guys they are really really thin like um i think it's okay if you're gonna layer something underneath i plan to layer because i do layer quite a lot in the winter um like i prefer to not have such a heavy jacket and um i just layer underneath so um i will put like a vest top underneath this so it's not too bad but if you plan to just wear this and your bra you're going to see the bra <laughs> let's just put it this way i don't know if it's something they're testing but primark you really need to um fix up because this is not the one like <laughs> i did buy three i was planning to buy like six or something like that um because usually they are like the same material as this so i don't yeah not really feeling that um i did get mine in a size large again um so yeah so annoying that you can't see how thin this is but take my word for it guys this material is so thin it does still have stretch in it like their um other ones that they used to do but for me it's not so structured it's very flimsy already like so i just wonder how it's going to be in like a couple of months i will like if i go into peacocks um or any other shop that have nice long sleeve tops just pick up like two or three um as the months go by because i just can tell like these are just going to get out of shape um and i was stuck in between getting a large and an extra large but oh god and then the arms are just not long enough i just really don't like their new material for these cami tops i hope that they <laughs> see that people are not buying them as much and the reviews are not as good and they just go back to their old material i think it's something to do with using sustainable materials or whatever i don't know but for me like people are either just going to buy more of this which is going to create more of a landmark in the clothing industry or i don't know people are just going to buy it somewhere else so i don't see the point of it <laughs> moving on so i did also just get some plain leggings these are just my usual plain leggings that i always buy they actually seem quite big what size did i get oh i got a 22 to 24 guys i'm like why does the waist seem so big why did i pick up such a big oh god and i was in town yesterday i could have changed these 2xl i wasn't meant to pick up a 2xl i was just going round and round to the shops and yeah i got distracted clearly but anyways i did get these um funny enough they don't actually seem massive but it's just the waist that i can see is just way too big and that's just going to be falling down i will try them on though just out of curiosity to see how big they are for me because also i don't know if i have the receipt but anywho although you can bring them back but i don't know when next i'll be going to um, primark let alone town so yeah first of all i got these lovely hooped earrings they were two pound however sometimes i am 
allergic to the material that they use on these and by the end of the night my ears are so sore and itchy so i don't know but i just really fancied some hoops earrings i haven't bought like um earrings for so long because my earlobes are like nearly split <laughs> but yeah i should, probably shouldn't be wearing these because they're quite heavy as i can feel but i just wanted some hoops so yes i got these that is so weird. Look guys, I don't know if you can see, but like this pair, oh, I'm really close to the camera. This one and this one are meant to be together. So, but I don't know why they're opposite. Maybe it's like the style they wanted to kind of make it look nice. Cause they do hang nicely that way actually. Anyways, as long as they're all there. <laughs> so those are the earrings I bought. So lastly from Primark, I got this a beautiful um, silver necklace. It's just a plain um, necklace with this beautiful like sort of pendant hair. My nails are so bad guys, I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> but I just thought it was really nice, dainty. I just thought it, I thought it would look um, really cute with a nice, even just like something I'm wearing like now, but just with this necklace here, we'll just kind of really dress it up. I have an upcoming trip to Birmingham, which I'll be going this weekend. So you guys will be seeing a few pack with me. Hopefully I'll be able to vlog there at some point. Um, and yeah, so that is what I got from Primark. It also popped in the pound shop and I just thought I would include it in this haul just because they're both not too big of a haul to like separate them. So um, last but not least, I went into the pound shop. I got this super cute bag, by the way, guys. <laughs> it's got these lovely little unicorns on. Obviously, you have to buy these for a pound. Um, first thing I got, guys, are three packs of seven pieces. Does that make sense? Of puppy pads um, for Tilly. Tilly is going to be staying with my mum for two nights. And I know my mum's going to change these, like, the dinners. Because... <laughs> just how she is so i thought i would get her three packs so she has more than enough um to change them as she pleases tilly is fully potty trained she can go out is it potty trains puppy anyway she can go toilet outside um but obviously she is more of a house dog um not saying she doesn't go out for walks but <laughs> um so yeah we just use these that like, maybe when it gets late at night or because she is Still a very young dog. Um, and also, yeah, self explanatory you guys, puppy pads. Um, second thing I got were these four pack, yep, <laughs> four pack of Colgate toothbrushes. I change my toothbrushes like every two weeks. And they say like once a month, but I just feel like toothbrushes just get out of shape. And once they're out of shape and the and the um bristles start like going like in different directions i'm like yeah time to change my toothbrush i do have an electric toothbrush but i don't know guys i just keep on ordering different things on amazon and like yeah i'll order my replacement toothbrush heads so i haven't got around to that but i do yeah definitely need to sort of go back to like my um electric toothbrush but i got these i also got these also soft cotton wool pads these are like quite um big ones so what i'm going to do is keep these for tilly um to like clean her eyes her ears and just anything to do with tilly um i just put hot water on these and i clean any area on her that i need to these are nice and soft obviously i don't know if they're organic but they're supposed to be natural Next of all, I got um, from the makeup section in the pound shop, I got this brow palette from Allure. Allure? Allure? <laughs> um, so this was a pound, guys. A pound. Not everything in a pound shop is a pound if you don't shop at Poundland. <laughs> so this was a really good steal. Like sometimes they do have things in a pound shop that are like um, maybe like discontinued from brands or they're just trying to get rid of old stock like Christmas stock, Easter stock or whatever stock um, so I saw this and <laughs> FYI guys this is actually the second one I had to go back to the pound shop because I left one of my shopping bags there um, and they had another one so I bought it 
because the I think it was the day before that I tried it out and it was amazing like I love this palette in the palette I should have brought it with me but in the palette you get like um like a pomade you then get a powder to sort of set it and then you also get like a highlighter like um um to highlight underneath a brow that makes sense <laughs> um which doesn't have any shimmer in it it's a really good the next get ready with me i would do probably when i'm in birmingham um you guys will see the palette but it's such a good palette guys they also had like some pomades from allure there as well so um just check out your primark not your primark your poundland um now so that you guys can see if you could pick up any of these allure products Next of all, I got some waterproof plasters. So I, um, when I hurt my toe during the summer, um, I had used all my plasters on that. So I just think plasters are a necessity to have, like I should really just have like a first aid box, but I don't, but maybe I should put one together. But <laughs> um, this is like part of my essentials that I always have to keep in the house. So I got some waterproof plasters these i always call them knippers knippers <laughs> but if, guys if you know you know like these are to die for they come in a pack of five but fortunately there's only one left <laughs> i love these guys these are like my favorite thing oh they're nice they're like got way far then they've got like this creamy layer then they have like a chocolate layer then they have like like little bits of hazelnuts I like any sort of nuts, any any sort of chocolates that have nuts in it. So that brings me on to the next thing is Kinder Bueno. Kinder Bueno, I love, like I said, I love any chocolate that has nuts in it. Kinder Bueno is just me. I love Kinder Bueno. FYI guys, I don't like the white chocolate one. I love this. I don't really like white chocolate in general, guys. Comment down below. Do you like white chocolate or do you like like normal milk chocolate or do you like even dark chocolate funny enough i can stomach dark chocolate more than i can stomach milk chocolate the only milk chocolate i will eat is like milky way <laughs> i love i love nestle chocolate i think nestle do the best chocolate i love their like little chocolate stars like you know the children ones i'm, su I'm such a big kid guys i love chocolates <laughs> So, the next thing I got were these pearl drops, sparkle, white sparkle, helps remove stains. So, I was supposed to have started to use this before I go away this weekend, but today is Thursday and I go away on Saturday and apparently haven't used it. So, I might just start this afternoon actually before I have another cup of tea, <laughs> which apparently stains your teeth. <laughs> um i will just use this and my plan is to just like use this in between brushes so um just use this maybe at lunchtime and then brush my teeth with my normal toothpaste in the morning and evening i'll have to see how many times of day you can use it um but i just want to see if that like, you see any difference so i got this that was a pound as well guys everything i showed you today um was a pound apart from yeah, that's it actually. Everything was a pound. Yeah, everything was a pound, guys. So, I also got this, um, this bathroom jelly scent. This was nice. I'm just going to stick it in the bathroom so it can smell nice. Um, it smells to die for already. They had like a berry one, I think, and that's not really nice as well. I might just pick one up every time I go to the pound shop. Last but not least, I did go to Savers, and from Savers, I got this Femme Fresh Daily Wash. This is just a um, feminine, um, intimate wash. So I got this. I really like it, guys. And this lasts so long, it foams up so much, like you only need a little bit. It's so, 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 so good, guys. It lasts me like three months. I kid you not. I also got some Colgate Total Pluck Protect um, Toothpaste. So that was good. Okay. I usually just stick to Colgate because I like Colgate Toothpaste. Then I also got some paracetamol. I just got a bit more because I do have like one or two packs in 
um, my store cupboard, but you can only buy one or two at a time for certain reasons, obviously. Um, so when I see it in our shops and I'm there for a good price, I just pick it up because paracetamol was just a staple. And obviously, like I said, I'm going away. I probably said it about 50 times for this video. I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going away. So paracetamol, ibuprofen, I will be taking them with me. Last but not least, from this haul, I got some Dove Beauty Bars. Um, I'm back on the Dove train. I skipped, I skipped, <laughs> I took a break and was using Sanex and also like the Audi dupe for Sanex, which, which did me wonders, really, really good. But I just feel like there's nothing better than a Dove Beauty Bar or you can buy like, I used to buy the, um, the liquid quite a lot that was also good as well but i love the beauty bar as well because what i do is that um i mostly just use this and just rub it on my body then using a sponge because i just think it's more gentle and then maybe like twice or three times a week i go in with a nice sponge and just really kind of exfoliate because i do have it's not sensitive but my skin's quite soft so i don't really need to use a hard scrubber <laughs> if that makes sense so i have been using this which is really really cool um making me feel so nice and fresh it doesn't dry up my skin it doesn't um mess up my ph balance down there um so yeah if you haven't ever used dove um beauty bar try it out guys even on your face this is amazing i've kind of skipped out with using um face wash and i've just been using this and i've been loving it guys i have absolutely been loving it so yeah guys that's literally it from my haul today i just thought like i said i'd put everything together to to just make it sort of a big haul but i knew like the individual hauls weren't um sort of big enough but yeah if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up make sure you like comment and just describe subscribe and i'll see you guys soon <laughs>